what's up boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. You're probably getting used to this shirt. I've done a handful now here today. This one is for an undercard. I believe this is going to lead off the triple header on November 27th. Let's hope that it's still on. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, uh, my blessings and prayers go out to Michael Katsidis. He just recently lost his brother, so we don't know exactly what's going to go on. If he's going to fight in that fight or not, who knows. Um, as of right now, Jason Liskow versus Celestino Caballero is on November 27th. It opens that triple header um, in the, at the MGM. So, let's talk about this. Now, Litzow, he's been on HBO once. Uh, he was leading. He actually got knocked down, knocked down in the early part of the fight, first or second round, came up. Came back, got up, I should say. God, I can't talk right now. Um, got up, went in the fight, handedly. Had it in the bag, but he was going for the close. He was on HBO. He wanted to go for the knockout. Um, he got knocked out. Then he had another step-up fight. He was on, he's been on ESPN, uh, you know, Friday Night Fights plenty. Um, most people know him. Then he stepped up to Guerrero. Too high of a step for him. Um, he did have like about a round and a half in there where he fought pretty good. Other than that, he got knocked out. The thing about Litzow is he's a fun fighter to watch. And when he fought uh, Rocky Juarez uh, here in the spring, um, I thought he fought pretty well. You know, he's a guy with plenty of boxing skills. Um, hold on, I might have to stop this video. Plenty of boxing skills. Um... He, he's got a good jab. He's got good hand speed. He's got some movement. He just likes to do that Roy Jones without, you know, or the really the Mayweather because he uses the actual shoulder. But he likes to do that Roy Jones hands down. But he doesn't use the, you know, he doesn't use the shoulder roll really. He does a little bit, but not much. He gets hit way too much. He's too flashy. He's too cocky in there, and that's what's gotten him beat um, or knocked down and almost beat and having to come back. So. He's an action fighter. He's fun to watch. So I'd give him a really good chance to compete in this fight. Um, one, because it's going to be at 130, and supposedly the Litzau, who's been at 126 and 130, feels a little healthier at 130. Also, Caballero only has one fight at 126 recently. Otherwise, he's jumping up another weight class. So that evens it out a little bit somewhat. Um, Caballero's been working with Jeff Mayweather. He said he's been increasing his speed. He said he's increasing his power, which, you know, we know the Mayweathers can do that. Um, also, just overall using his jab and and being smarter in there. Caballero looked pretty darn good against Jordan. Um, although Jordan is a tough son of a gun. And, and he hit him plenty, too, even though he got hit a lot. And some people thought the fight should have been stopped. He got hit plenty in that fight. So... Um, this is weird because Caballero, man, he can get so wide with the shots. He's very tall um, for the weight class, just in general. I think he's taller than uh, Litzow. Pretty sure he's taller than Litzow. I think he's like 5'11", and for this weight class, 130, 126, right, 122, where he's been fighting, that's extremely tall. So the height is not going to do is not going to be a problem versus Litzow. Litzow is not a short guy for his uh, you know weight class either. Um, so I just think it's going to be an all-out fun fight to watch. Um, <clears throat> like I said, in, in Litzow's fight against Rocky Juarez, he looked good early, but he started getting caught. And I thought that I thought that it was a good call that he won that fight if they were going to go to the scorecards at the moment. But I also thought that he was going to get caught up to. Now Rocky Juarez coming forward at this point is just not as effective as he was. He takes a long time to get going. We all know that, but he's just not as good as he was. You know, now who knows how, you know, where to rank him, you know, as far as he's a solid fighter. He has some solid wins. He's obviously come short, come up short with a lot of championship belts, but they're against really solid, solid and great fighters. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I just think Caballero is a guy that he's going to get hit plenty in this fight, especially early, trying to catch up to him. I just think Litzel is going to get caught with something because he fights stupid, man. He just keeps doing it. Like, And another thing is, he doesn't know if he wants to be inside or outside at times. If you watch that Guerrero fight, he's close enough to get hit, but not close enough to let his shots go. Or he is close enough, and he's getting hit, but he's not letting his shots go. So... 
he, he's kind of frustrated. If you're, a, if you're a huge fan of him, you're very frustrated watching him. Now, you're very entertained, but you're also frustrated. The guy kind of talks some smack, but doesn't always back it up. He backs it up in action, though. I'll give him that. So you got to give him that. So I am going to go with Caballero here, but I, I, I see that it should be, it's not going to be walk in the park. And even against Jordan in his last fight, and he dominated him, dominated him. But it wasn't a walk in the park, and he got hit plenty. So I expect Litzau to have plenty of a success um, early to mid and at times in this fight. But to me, I just see Caballero catching him and knocking him down and hurting him enough to where he either gets KO or TKO because that can be his style. Litzau, if he's hurt, his style is to go hard and go out like a man. And that's the way he looks at it. Go out like a warrior, get knocked out. It's happened before. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's happened before, so it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, Litzau is a very inconsistent performer. But I also don't think he's at that top level. Now, do we think? Do we know that Caballero's at the top level at 130 or 126? we got a pretty good... You know, he's going to be pretty damn good at featherweight. He could be the best featherweight. We don't know yet. So, you know, he's got a good trainer, obviously, and Jeff Mayweather. Um, I just see him either hurting him and, and knocking him down a couple times and maybe just TKOing him or just beating the you-know-what out of him and, and Litzau just kind of moves and runs away and pot shots and holds and that type of thing and survives or just gets knocked out. So I'm going to go with Caballero either way. And I hate to be as vague. Usually I'm pretty to the point, or at least give you two options. But honestly, I, I'm, you know, let's how I see him getting knocked out or, or knocked down and hurt in this fight. I do because he gets caught with some big shots. And, and you saw Rocky Juarez. He was land, He was getting his. He was getting his shots off, and he started landing some big shots. So I just don't know if Litzau can move and, and and run and move the whole time. Because he moves, but he also runs. He also does stuff that's not effective. So anyway, this has been the Rope of Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.